here is this IC station project this is a power module actually the step down module some 10 ampere DC to DC high power adjustable step down module voltage and current uh, dual display so this is and the regular price is $15.25 uh, and now is a 25% discount $11.44 uh, so this is and here is the module you can see so what I will do is I will make a complete um, demonstration on this one and will elaborate everything about this I will illustrate each and everything uh, all the details and uh, we will power it up and we'll make some load on this and then we'll see uh, how it is behaving uh, here is a little bit detail about this uh, you can see here is a detail and uh, this one is showing almost a lot of detail say so it is from 7 volt to 40 volt some so uh, this module I will show in this video here is a post bag received from the IC station uh, I'm going to unbox it so inside they have packed very well this item also the bag you can see it's a good quality bag inside there are air bubbles and uh, this is good for safety so now I'm going to show you the item here is the power module I'm going to unpack it again this is inside there is a bag in the bag there is a bag and in another bag there is a bag here you can see this one they have given in good safety so these are the actually two whatever top covers they have provided the transparent sheet covers they have provided uh, but problem occurred this is not the IC station problem but this is the whatever you can say uh, problem from the postage the postage has created this problem and uh, here you can see this capacitor this had got some defect and sure this capacitor will need some replacement because I can see here a crack inside so this capacitor I will replace later on the uh, replacement is not very difficult we can unsolder this solder over here and then we have to replace this capacitor and we'll put it new uh, some 470 micro and 50 volt you can see uh, this is sure not from the IC station defect this is defect of the postage they should have to take care with items and here is another defect you can see with this item this has been broken these are the covers mm, they have provided some nice covers on the top of this uh, uh, display this module this cover will go I'm going to peel this uh, paper off here you can see underneath this uh, paper had been peeled off and then other side also I'm doing the same thing this is important because without peeling off this cover the, this uh, whatever front panel will not come this is in two parts the other have the same problem as well what I can see here the other one also have the same problem uh, we will peel it off anyhow now. Mm, so what we are doing we are taking this super glue which is master glue here in my case I am going to open this thing and here is little glue you can see here, here inside and the price is also very low I am going to puncture it from the top take care with your eyes don't put it in your eyes and with the fingers also take care uh, now I'm going to put this uh, glue on the pieces so that hopefully it will take care for this defect so this way we will put it little quantity on the other side don't need instead only we will have to pack we will have to uh, put both together mm, we will keep them for a little while so that these will be joined together and then later on we will place it somewhere on a regular surface the other also we will do the same thing this is unfortunate thing which had been happened and sometimes it is the case while you are uh, purchasing some items they are going defective in the way this is sometimes happening which should not be
you know somewhere like this this got a little more over here you can see but anyhow it is okay better than the broken one okay we will take off a little bit using my screwdriver both sides and something like that and then we'll keep it side so that mm, this will be settled for a little while then. now the time to fix oil items in uh, we are going to fix these together uh, so you can see there are two type of studs and there is a screw two screws for each uh, set so this is something like uh, they will go like this some way like this just I'm going to demonstrate it for you then this will be easy to understand and then it will be like this so how it will be it will be fixed on the PCB over here and then the top cover will be here and the down cover will be here so something like that mm, we are going to fix it on so that you will understand it well how everything will go together this is easy this is not difficult but it's okay we are going to demonstrate it so something like this I'm just going to put it the bigger one will go behind and the smaller one will be in the front like this and then we will tight it we'll tight it a little better with the with the help of nose pliers so that it will not wiggle something like that it's okay then others also we will do the same thing i am going to do for the other one you just have to see this one So these uh, two I installed in front of you, the rest of the two I will install off camera because the video will get bigger which is not good. I fixed all fours, for all four you can see. Now, I'm the, now is the time to fix this front. For the front they have given two buttons. Uh, these are the two knobs. And just we will put it on these buttons. You can see these small small buttons. Uh, these will go somewhere over here one and the other one also will be in the same way something like that and then keep it and we'll put it like this uh, so that's nice hopefully it will do now is the time to fix the screws using a small Phillips screwdriver we can fix all the four screws So the four screws I have fixed on the top you can see and that's good that uh, the display is not coming under the broken part instead the display is in nice part uh, so we will see the display better and then later on we will have to fix this one uh, this one is also easy it will be some way this round shape will come on the toroid and uh, here is the strip for the terminals this will come in this slot. Uh, so some way like this we have to fix all the four screws over here as well sorry it dropped so the one is here the next one one will go we will lose it a little bit so that it will be easy to fix Then later on we will tighten all the screws. All the four screws I put them on, just snug. Later on we will tighten them, and of course this capacitor I will replace later on. So this is the item now in my in my hand. Uh, it's nicely fixed now. Uh, so we will put all connections. Here are two inputs, and here are two outputs. And what this is, this uh, equipment is doing, you know, and this is the step down module, but this is not a series regulator, this is a, a whatever linear, not non linear regulator, which is switching regulator. Here is the switching toroid, you can see. Uh, this is 
uh, their voltage range for the input is somewhere from 4 volt to 40 volt and the output is uh, 1.5 to 35 volt uh, according to um, these settings settings will be here and here these two are the four are the settings we will see how it will set uh, this is setting this is written as set and this is written as enter so we will see we will power it up and then later on i will show you how we are playing with this module so hopefully this will be a beautiful module and very useful module as well as a power supply so we will see the behavior of this item now I'm going to test this module this is now I'm on the battery bank 12 volt uh, you can see uh, here you can see 12 volt and 0 ampere because the current is not flowing through the circuit that's why 0 ampere you can see this LED display is some way LCD display which is backlight blue here you can see and also here you can see a blue light LED which is coming this is telling full the mid one is charge and the other one is CC so these two buttons and these two variables I'm going to explain what they are doing these buttons are for the display actually they are controlling the display function what you have to display there are two uh, four quantities which are displaying for two quantities you can see now which is input the output voltage 12.7 uh, volt and 0 ampere voltage and ampere output then input voltage and ampere these four quantities are displayed we are we can control these four quantities through these switches whichever quantity you want to display you can control this through these switches i will explain a little in a little while uh, how we are going to control it then these two variables uh, small potentiometers you can see these are for the setting up these how much voltage you want to in an output these are for the output and how much current the current also you can control through this this is adgi adjustment current adjustment then adg uh, volt v uh, voltage adjustment over here so voltage we are adjusting over here the current we are limiting over here so these are the controls now i'm going to explain only the input you can see the blue the green wire is uh, the positive wire i connected the, to the battery this is here in plus in minus the black wire which is going to the battery negative terminal mm. now i'm going to control using these two uh, switches the press switches we can control the functions this is function zero which is output then again pressing function one which is input 12.7 volt then function two which is simultaneously input and output is changing input and output is changing after a second or two something like that so both quantities you can see input and output uh, one after another this these three three functions are so now i'm going to select this one which is uh, i mean uh, function second so then i will set it through function set switch then enter so while i'm entering you can see in and out in and out all the time it is changing now i'm going to change the voltage for the output uh, so counterclockwise this is 134 110 134 sorry 134 uh, turn potentiometer so in 134 turns it is controlling the whole quantity so now it will be reduced you can see it is reducing the output is reduced now you will be able to see 7 volt some 7 volt is in the output and in the input of course the 12 volt which is coming the input you cannot control the output you can control uh, so these are the functions for these switches and here we are controlling the output voltage and output current i will show you in a little while i will connect a load this is my dummy load which is a lamp of course uh, 12 volt lamp i am going to connect it to the output there is no positive and negative for the lamp of course uh, because they are passive devices you know uh, just a load a resistive load i'm going to connect it to the terminals i will show how it is behaving with the lamp and you will see the current function as well the current control i mean so now the lamp had been switched on and just look at the lamp and it is drawing some 1.4 ampere from the battery and 1.3 ampere to the load or 1.4 ampere of course to the load it is showing the two quantities you can see now i'm controlling the current just we will set it to the output so that you will be able to see it 
so function zero is output it's okay now it's set to output and the charge led had been come before the no load the full led was coming now the charge led has been come so while we will control the current we will limit the current so the cc will come current cut or current control something like that so okay we will we are reducing the current now is the 1.4 maximum current which is drawn by the lamp it is now i'm going to control it and in a while you will see that the current is going to be controlled I'm reducing it yeah now you see this red LED had been come and the current had been limit to 1 ampere and the voltage had reduced as well and the lamp brightness had been reduced as well so I'm going to control further even further and further and the lamp you can see it is glowing very little very little glow is there and current is half ampere now so it is reducing and reducing and reducing and it is up to 0 ampere you can see and 0 volt so it's totally cut now the current is totally cut so I am going to increase it again increase it and increase it and increase it so you can see 7 volt 7.3 volt some is coming so I am going to increase the voltage and decrease the voltage from here now I am going to decrease it first you can see while I am decreasing the voltage the lamp glow is reduced as well as the current is reduced for the lamp this is the ohms law if you are reducing the voltage the current will be reduced as well uh, this is the basics i'm not going to explain that uh, but just explain the function of this module so 1.2 volt is the maximum cut voltage for this module now i'm increasing to some way 12 volt the output So say 11.7 volt you can see the little drop is there for the input and output. So this is and now we will verify uh, these units the input and output through our uh, fluke meter how the fluke is behaving I mean to say how the readings are. So first we are going to check the input. The input here you can see 12 volt. 12 volt you can see on the fluke and the output we are going to check this is 11.86 volt at the moment 11.85 volt and here also you can see 11.7 volt so it's nicely uh, in the range I mean to say uh, they are following the display is following the range here you can see 11.9 volt and this meter was showing some 12 volt something like that so they are nearly the same uh, hope this module will be helpful for you and my explanation will help how you can use this module this you can use for a power supply adjustable power supply or you can use it in, in any project for the control or anything and so this is a nice project a nice module I mean uh, very small very smart module and of course this is 100, 150 watt uh, but the recommended volt wattage is 100 watt they are telling that you have to use within the range of 100 watt um, if you want to see the specifications for this module uh, you can go to the blog here downside the blog address is in the description as well as in the um, comment section you can see the blog in the blog each and every detail for this module had been explained and also you can go to the IC station website which is there in the description or in the uh, whatever in the comments you can see the link for that mm, you can see there and you can purchase this module uh, for your projects thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned give a bit big thumbs up and stay tuned